Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have Summer Swaps number two leaks to talk about today because just after finishing Summer Swaps number one, as expected and not really a surprise, we have a leak for Summer Swaps number two. And this is probably going to take us through the end of the game, our last swaps program of FIFA 22, I would have to guess. So I want to take a look at the leaks because there are some brand new packs, including an 86 times 15 and a 96 plus shapeshifter player pick, along with a 98 rated Ben Yedder footies card. Yeah, that would be crazy and probably really ratty, but we're going to take a look at those leaks and also more leaks about what might be coming this next week of footies, right? Brazil this last week, Premier League two weeks ago. What is week three going to bring us? We might have an idea based off of our dynamic duo leak. And then of course, today on Wednesday, we should be getting another voting SBC. And with that, we should bring some other content. Also today on Wednesday, the re-release of the 85 times 10 uh, the timer will refresh, if you will. As you can see here, it's going to refresh again today. So we'll be able to do the 85 times 10 once again today on Wednesday. So I want to take a look at all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for footy swaps number two, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. That's where we are going to start today talking in this video about this leak. Now, just as we saw with summer swaps number one, summer swaps number two is leaked to have the exact same number of tokens, 50 50 whole tokens during summer swaps number two and these are the leaked rewards again with swaps programs the leaks are pretty much spot on because every single time this year icon swaps any of like the you know swaps programs we've had from multiple pro uh, you know promos throughout this year they have been spot on this stuff really does not change so we would expect these to be basically 100 percent correct um, for what should come out in a couple of weeks. Now, the question is, when is this going to start? And a lot of you guys have seen this. I think it's really going to start this Friday with us getting the tokens, but I do not think the rewards will be available for probably two weeks. And there's some interesting timing to talk through with that. But with some of the leaked rewards that we have here, of course, we've got all the regular fodder packs, your 82 to 84 times 25, your 85 times 20. The new one though is an 86 times 15, which at 10 tokens is an interesting fodder pack, guaranteed walkout, 15 of them. And it, it, of course, it's 86 plus. So you would hope for some really, really high rated players in there. You've also got some of your uh, player picks that were in the last swaps. You've got the Icon Moments 93 plus. You had a 95 plus Shapeshifter, only 17 tokens this time. And the Hero Shapeshifter player picks a new one. That's one of five and it's 12 tokens. That one's not terrible value. 95 plus Moments pack would be pretty good if you're really chasing a high tier Icon Moments card. And then the player. Ben Yetter, footies Ben Yetter. And of course, these are predicted stats, a 97 and 98. What I think is pretty interesting is the 20 token Ben Yetter and the 27 token Ben Yetter, that's actually really close. Think about Kempembe, right? Kempembe was 10 tokens and like what, 25 or 27 or something like that. These are really close. So it's almost like EA, what are you going to do to make these two cards different? Yet one is going to be somehow better with the extra seven swap tokens that it takes to get from 97 Ben Yedder or 98. Like I'm just a little confused at the, what the difference is going to be. Hopefully both of them have five-star skills. If it's a difference of five-star skills or not, then I would assume the 27 token Ben Yedder would have the five, five, and that will be a crazy, crazy card to get. Dina Talley is the only hero shapeshifter that's in, in here. We have moments Cruyff, of course. And I think this pack is big, a 96 plus shapeshifters player pick, you know, that would include heroes, I believe, but that could be a really, really insane player pick. We went through some of the options yesterday. Now let's talk about value, right? Honestly, at this stage of the game, I think whatever combination you're thinking of, you have to do the fodder packs. I think you have to do them. It's only 13 tokens. Sorry, not 13 tokens. That's what it is to do these first four. 13 tokens, 23 tokens if you add in the 86 times 15. And some of you might be like, Nate, last time the 8520 was only five tokens. Why is it now seven? It doesn't make any sense. Let's talk through this a little bit. Well, if these rewards are not coming out for two weeks, think about what is going to be going on in two weeks on this game. First of all, we're inside of batch two right now, which contains TOTS cards, couple team of the seasons, still some older promo cards. In two weeks from now, we will be in the middle of batch number three, which will most likely contain shapeshifter cards. So I think that the increase in the swap requirement for the 85 times 20 is directly related to EA knowing 
that there are going to be shape shifter cards in packs. It's going to be the best batch of footies. And I think they can say, okay, we're going to make them grind a little bit extra here. Two more swap tokens to get this 85 times 20 pack. I think that is the reason. And honestly, it's two swap tokens out of 50. It's not that difficult. It's really not that big of a change. But I just want to set the mindset here, right? Think about two weeks from now when we would most likely get the rewards, unless they somehow drop them early. And it's even one week from now, right? Regardless, we are going to be in the time of the game where batch three will be out because batch three is is not in packs this Friday. Batch three is in packs uh, eight, eight days from now or nine days from now, or whatever it is, because Batch two is a two week batch. I would assume batch three will be as well. So that's why I think they've kind of changed this up. But as you start to think about what swaps rewards will I take, think about what's going to be in packs at that time too. There's going to be shapeshifters. There's going to be team of the seasons. It's going to be the best of batch three inside of footy. So that's something to think about. And I think it would be very crucial to take your fodder packs early because if you're also thinking about, if, about it, two weeks from now would be the second week of that footies batch three and you would want to take these fodder packs during that because if you took like a 96 plus shapeshifters player pick two and then you had to go out and grind some more tokens you might run out of time before all of those cards leave packs and then that could be problematic so again like i said there's many best value options that are inside of here just try to maximize the time that you want to spend on the game by how many tokens you want to um, get and then what rewards you think are good, right? I'm somebody who's not going to grind all 50 tokens. I'm tempted to do one, two, three, seven, maybe 10, maybe not, but at least the first four fodder packs and then probably the 17 shapeshifter player pick again, the 95 plus just to have some fun content to do. You know, I think the 32 token 96 plus would be really, really fun. The moments would be fun. The pack would be fun. I, ben Yedder would be really good. The Dina Tally would be great. I mean, there's so many fantastic options, right? Let's be honest. So many options in here. But I think for sure, I'm going to be getting one, two, three, and seven done, maybe 10. And then if I do get those, then probably, you know, like the hero shapeshifter player pick with my leftover tokens, or maybe the 94 plus shapeshifter, something along those lines. But I'm definitely going to be taking the first four fodder packs i think you almost have to because again at this stage of the game fodder is so necessary think about for the rest of footies we're still going to have you know we're going to have these upgrade packs the campaign player picks whatever you know league or nation is next they're going to focus on we're going to continue to have footies player picks we're going to have 85 times tens on repeat you're going to need some fodder to get spcs done right and that's not even to mention all of the shapeshifter and the player picks that we have right now that are icons um, and like yesterday we had the 93 plus we had the foot hero shapeshifter upgrade last week uh, It could come again today on Wednesday, right? That's all content that we'll probably can continue to see that type of content during the rest of footies and fodder is very very important for that So getting those I think is very very crucial But again, let me know down in the comments what you think is the best what you see from those rewards and what makes What you want to grind and try to get after seeing those rewards? I mean, there's tons of great options Again, I think it just really comes down to how much time you want to put into the menu grind and into the gameplay grind at this stage of the year. Now, also with leaks, we have to go back to Twitter for another one. We have our dynamic duo objective leaked for what is should be coming this Friday. Tammy Abraham and his teammate, Ver Verito. I never know how to say this guy's name, right? French and English, both on Roma. And some people are like, hold up. These guys are not the same nationality. How is it a dynamic duo? Well, as you see Sheriff reply here, um, we had people from different nations last year that were dynamic duos, Jelson Martins and Fabregas. So I wonder what EA is going to do though. You know, Tammy Abraham, hopefully he keeps the five-star skills from his foot birthday. Hopefully he's a five-star skill, four-star weak foot card. This would be a really really fun card to use in the game. Fantastically good. If you remember his foot birthday card, this Veritao is, you know, a... French midfielder with club 90 stats. These are predicted stats, by the way, but that will be an incredible card. And I really hope EA Sports do give them these dynamic images because that would be pretty sick if they had dynamic images with the trophy in the picture. But anyways, um, this kind of leaves us with question marks. What's going to be our next focus? We had Premier League. We've had Brazil. Is it Syria or is it like an England slash France like um, kind of vibe this next week. I think today on Wednesday is really going to lock that down based on who we see 
in our vote. That's going to be very interesting, depending on the voting that we get today on Wednesday. I'll talk more about that in a second. But regardless of this, this is pretty cool. Some of you guys might think this might be a little bit dead. I think these cars look good, though. And one thing I will say, if it is a Serie A focus, think about what we have seen so many times in this year's game. When Serie A cards are, are put in... Uh, in SBCs or if there's Serie A cards that are in objectives that are really, really hype, Serie A always makes the other Serie A cards on the market move a lot. Serie A has been pretty hyped this year, right? There's been plenty of great Serie A cards. It's just people don't often run those teams as their first choice. So when there's great cards that come out that they want to do and build teams around, a lot of the other special cards on the market start to go up. So what I would say is start to look around the market a little bit and i know some of these cards have already started to move and this is very speculative i would not really start buying any of these things until like after today but just keep an eye on some of your really really popular Serie A cards i'm just kind of naming some and, and looking at some prices here off the top of my head even a guy like arnautovic you know like this guy could go up as a center back in the Serie A, having a shapeshifters card right watch some of your most popular um Serie A items if that is going to be what this next week looks like. I wouldn't buy those yet, but start to maybe plan out, hey, if there is a Serie A cup that is upcoming, what kind of team, what holes in my team do I need to fill with the player, buy one or two cards here to make a Serie A team for next week's what we would assume being a Serie A cup. So that's not something you really have to act on right now. Just start thinking about, okay, if there's a Serie A vote today on Wednesday, that would make us think this next week's going to be Serie A based. Then I should get my Serie A team ready. Those sort of things are what I want you to think about. I've got my Serie A team ready. Probably could upgrade a player here or there, but that's kind of the thing you want to plan for today. Now, as I mentioned, today's content on Wednesday, let's talk about that a bit. Wednesdays have been voting days. Last week on Wednesday, of course, we had the vote between the SBCs that we just uh, most recently had between, I can almost forget that, Rafinha and Pato. How did I forget their names for a second? Crazy, right? Rafinha and Pato, the Brazilians, we had in the vote last week. Uh, this week, if we see all Serie A players, that would let us know it's probably a Serie A week next week. But if there's something that's like English or French players, then maybe that would tell us that EA is going some other sort of route. And that would be very, very interesting to see. And I'd be very curious to know what EA is doing. So really what we're looking for today is the vote. And that's kind of the biggest piece of content that I would watch out for today. Something that we see just about every single Wednesday on this game is a vote. It should be in the store, should pop up. You'd be able to vote, get the loan cards, and then go from there. And that'll tell us a lot about what's going to happen in this next week. Now, also coming today on Wednesday, as I mentioned, that Hero Shapeshifter upgrade is expiring. Could this be re-released? I think it's very, very possible. Today could be a pretty good day of content if you think about it, right? The Hero Shapeshifter being potentially re-released. As I said earlier, we have the 85 times 10 SBC is going to be refreshed today as well. So if you combine those two SBC parts with a vote today, you know, I guess you could count a silver star as part of the content as well. It might be a pretty hype day on Wednesday today with a lot to go out and do alongside of all the objectives and stuff and games that we're grinding for like Brazil Cup and stuff like that that are going on. So watch out for that today. Now, speaking of a lot of content, that's probably going to mean that fodder is going to move, right? I want to look at fodder because just as we talked about in yesterday's video, um, a lot of your lower tier cards, they they did end up going up again, right? Timo Werner was our example last night. He was like 6,000 coins, 6.5K. He went upwards of almost 8,000 coins yesterday in the hype. Now, a lot of these 84s are still six to 7,000 coins. They're still in that range. And what did we see on Monday when the 85 times 10 was released? These cards went up. Now, could you buy these to try to make a quick flip today? Absolutely. You could try to buy a bunch of 84s, sell them for like 8,000 coins, try to make around like 1,800 coins, whatever it is per card, you know, or whatever the profit is after tax. You know, that sort of thing I think you could do today. And I think it could be profitable because it's the 85 times 10 and everybody loves that pack. Now, also what you have to worry about a little bit today is every single Wednesday when we get a new vote, we also get a footies voting day SBC and in the past couple of weeks that has been a tradable pack and if you remember last Wednesday it dropped and it actually dropped a lot of the cards that were in packs 
at the time. I specifically remember, now this is for like the meta cards, right? Will it drop fodder? Fodder will probably still go up even with tradable supply just because the 85 times 10 has a lot of demand. But I remember specifically last week, Lucas Mora was like 180K on Tuesday. It was like 180,000 coins, but Wednesday came and this card dropped like 20, 30,000 coins because people were packing them in that tradable SBC. Again, there was other hype SBC content, which, you know, all that stuff is kind of adding up as to what it could look like today as well. So that would be a warning sign for me that, you know, a guy like this Jude Bellingham who just continues to drop, he was 120K at one point yesterday, man. 127, he's right now back to 142. I would expect this card to drop again and some of your other cards that are in packs for batch number two, I think I would expect those to continually drop a little bit today with some supply and maybe some panic. But at the same time, you saw prices drop even yesterday on this game. Take a look at Vinny Jr. He was 1.6 last night when we were talking about this guy, 1.6 mil. Now he's down 100,000 coins down to 1.5. I saw that Neymar, um, it was dropping some more himself as well. 2.17 for Neymar. He was 2.3, I think, still yesterday. He was 2.3, yeah. 2.3, and then he's been dropping down. He was even 2.1 flat just a little bit ago, and he's bounced back up about 70K. So these cards are continually going down on the market. They're getting supplied. Batch 2, dropping, dropping, dropping on a lot of these cards. Some more slowly than others. Some, you know, a little bit more abrupt than others you had some shapeshifters yesterday that even moved on the market guys like alfonso davies uh you know he was up right here at like 190,000 coins i think people this is a combination of people doing that 94 plus shapeshifter from yesterday um and packing him and also maybe some people selling alfonso davies because they either pack something good or they needed coins to go and do that sbc to buy the fodder so you saw a few price drops on the market yesterday because of that 94 plus uh, and this was, you know, it was an expensive gamble. And I think if you take a look at the SPC section on Footbin, it's like almost 50% upvoted for this. Honestly, this would be an SBC that you can do it. Absolutely. It's a fun gamble. You get a really high rated card. You're, you know, there's not a lot of L's from this, right? 94 plus shapeshifter, to be honest, not bad. The value though at 240, 250K is not that great because a lot of the cards you're going to end up packing from this, if you think about it, right? Like that Alfonso Davies or Spinazzola or Atal, a lot of those cards now are under 200,000 coins. So yes, you're doing an SBC that gives you potential of, of packing a big guy like a Cristiano Ronaldo or a Hyunmin Son or a Lionel Messi shapeshifter card. But most often times you're getting somebody that's around like the 100 to 200K range. So if you're fine with that gamble, go for it. Maybe you craft it later on after the weekend or you're trying to do it with 82 plus picks, whatever. I don't think that SBC has to be on the forefront of your uh, you know crafting at the moment. I think I would do the other upgrades first. Maybe the 85 times 10 today gives you some extra high rateds that you need to get this done. That sort of thing could be your, your process and your, your thought process going forward with the 94 plus shapeshifter. Same thing with the foot hero upgrade today. Like I, I don't remember what that required before. It wasn't super duper expensive. Maybe we can look here really quick on um, footbin and see what they dropped that as before. The foot hero shapeshifter upgrade was 98,000 coins. Like it's not that expensive, but if you take a look at the other foot heroes that are out there, like a lot of the hero shapeshifters that we have are are cheap, right? You've got Yunberg, 40K, Gomez, 80K, Morientes, 55K, Ricken, 37,000 coins. Uh, let's go with shapeshifters four. You've got, let's see, Cordoba's 200, Dempsey is 80K and doesn't even sell on the market. You know, you just it's just Colera is another cheap card too. Then, of course, you've got Di Natale, Cordoba, Cole, Abetti. Then you've got, of course, your Ginola, and you have got your... Um, your other expensive cards that are in there. K Hill is one of them that's a bit more expensive. You know, that's a gamble too today that I would say put that in the back burner for right now. Focus on the SBCs that are going to get you the best value. That's the 85 times 10 and, and that sort of SBC that's going to treat you the best in this game at the moment. So that's kind of my thoughts on today. Some people may be asking about like a loading screen. Nate, we're going to get a loading screen today. I doubt it. Maybe on Thursday, uh, but probably not. I mean, think about it. What they've been putting on loading screens is. The new cards coming back into packs and these cards are still in packs all of next week so really what's only going to change in this next week is people going out and and changing their teams and 
doing a different friendly mode, maybe starting the summer swap token grind, that sort of stuff is going to be the only thing that changes. The cards and packs are actually going to stay the same. So that's kind of what I'm expecting on this game for today on Wednesday. Just a quick little account update. I haven't showed you guys my team in a long time. And I was talking with another guy yesterday and I said, I, I thought, man, I should probably show my team. And yesterday, it's a good day to show you this because this is the Brazil Samba squad, right? Well, yesterday we packed a pretty monumental player. The red list continues. Their pack list this year has been stupid. And we packed 97 Cristiano Ronaldo, Siwi, in an 82 plus player pick. Absolutely disgusting, man. The fact that we have all these cards this year, and that's the Brazil squad. Uh, and then this is the main team, how I'm rocking it at the moment. I can't find a really good right wing that I, that suits me. Um, you know, I was using Gareth Bale, and I like Gareth Bale, and he's really fun, but he, he just doesn't cut it as a striker. So I'm actually using Di Maria as a striker at the moment, and he was balling out for me in my last few weekend league games. Uh, so he's pretty fun, but I got to add the Ronaldo to the bench in this team. Uh, and the team is just, it's absolutely incredible. Not a single player in here is, is owned with coins. It's all first owner pack pulled. The Messi, the Marcelo, of course, the legendary R9 approaching a thousand games. Uh, probably going to get that actually with all of the Brazil cup games that are counting for this. I think it's hurting his goal ratio though, because, um, I'm actually, you know, I shouldn't be hurting his goal ratio. He's still scoring a lot of goals. It's not golden goal, but I think this Rafinha card is really, really great. I've been enjoying him as a cam card or playing him actually as a right mid sometimes too. And then the super subs at this stage of the game are just, they're just dumb. Like Insigne, Dembele, Abedi Pele having him first owner. This card is unbelievable. You know, Mount, I barely used. Reese James, I barely used. Royce, I don't like, unfortunately. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it was the gameplay when I used him, but he was bad. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just absolutely loving the, the squad. And hashtag blessed is all I can say about the pack luck recently. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. I mean, that Summer Swaps 2 league is pretty big because it, it gives us something to look forward to, gives us something to kind of grind for, even though the rewards are not going to be out for probably another two weeks. It gets our minds thinking about that swap token grind, picking up those tokens. And that'll help, I think, in this next week when the same cards are going to be in packs and it's not like a fresh new batch of cards are in. So we'll talk about that more as we head on later down this week. But if you're excited for swaps number two, hit the thumbs up on this video once again. Comment down below what you're feeling about FIFA right now or just comment like an emoji or something. Just, you know, boost a little engagement for your boy and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nathan for the count and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.